Nigeria has started a match off already. He's asking me if I understand football. What he doesn't know is that when Corrado Onko and I were at Yeji, I was a school goalkeeper. The speaker, you are the first to confirm. No, elementary school, I was a school goalkeeper. Mr. Speaker is the first to confirm that secondary school, I was a school goalkeeper. At the starting college, I was Jubilee House goalkeeper. University of Ghana, I was Lagos goalkeeper. Don't mess about with me. We know football, Mr. Speaker. Yes, I can confirm the match with uh, Agonized Day where you considered three goals. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was a particularly difficult day, Mr. Speaker, for us. Remember, my both wrists were broken on that particular day. We had no defense. I had to be number one goalkeeper, and I had to play defense as well. One person. It was an awful day for us that day, and we lost by three goals to them. Mr. Speaker, I'm happy that somehow I got here in time. I have been wondering when I was going to have the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to give vent to my spleen of disillusionment. It's, 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 it's killing me. I've been looking for a vent. You mess about with this blast out of Ghana, Mr. Speaker, you will lose your life. <laughs> I didn't watch the match, I must confess. I didn't. For some time, I stopped watching them. But on this particular occasion, Mr. Speaker, I wasn't very well. I was afraid that if I walked there, my condition was going to deteriorate. I did it. They become pretty risky. A bit like the English sets of players we have now. Mr. Speaker, there's a question I want to pose to the blasters of Ghana. LA number one continues school. Where are you were there. You would all testify to my agility. I could dive to the ends of the post. I could. I was lensing the cars. That's how they referred me to. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the question I want the management, the blasters of Ghana to really answer to the people of Ghana is this, that. What is it that they want? They want from us. What do they want us to do short of carrying them piggyback? I mean, look at 30, 23 or so of them. We can't carry them. What do they want? What do they want? I mean, I heard my colleague talking about money and whatever. These guys are professionals. How much do they want from the nation of Ghana? And how much has the nation of Ghana, Mr. Speaker, not expended on them? I do not understand their mentality. I cannot understand it. Because of course, we're talking about the 70s, and we'll talk about the good old players that we all know about. Look at the team aside. Start from the late, uh, I think, early 90s. Mr. Speaker, up to now, what kind of crop of players that Mr. Speaker Ghana hasn't produced? Why is it that the holy grail of football, African football, is eluded us for all these years? Mr. Speaker, I campaigned all along the Assam for the appointment of a local coach. I met Kwesiapi on the flight uh, sometime back to London. We had a chat. I told him I would do my own one-person campaign to ensure that uh, he is somehow appointed. Well, in the end, he was appointed to the glory of God. We are all pretty happy. I don't know what happened except Coach Pindo Van Kronovich or whatever his name is. Said, well, who the hell is he? The man comes in one, you sack him, and then somehow somebody decides that this all, whatever it is, it, it should be brought back together. He see, the only thing that God gave to the football fraternity of Ghana. And you talk about players not respecting their coaches, their local coaches, and that is what they want foreign coaches. I mean, you, Milovic, Milovic. Mr. Speaker, and the one horrible statement I'm told that, because I told you I didn't watch it, but those who watch it, in the end I'm told that in some uh, uh, after much uh, uh, interview, he, he, he made a, a very stupid, if it is true, Mr. Speaker, stupid statement, a derogatory statement, racist statement. Now, well, he had come to make sure that we qualify for the World Cup. 
not the African. Can you imagine? Look at the kind of mentality. Mentality. The man is not, the man is gone loco. He's gone mad. Loco is mad. He's gone off the rocket. I mean, you see, we should be very. Uh, don't call me on a point of order because you guys not going to call you, so you better sit down. <laughs> when I'm in my element, he won't disturb my train of thought. So sit down, my friend. And you, I've got a problem with you. We need to resolve it. So sit down, let me complete my statement. But if you sit down, let me finish this statement. Point of order, he won't call you. So what's your problem? <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Uh, yes, no, no, Ghana no, 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 deserves... No, 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 please. Yes, no, 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 no. Mr. Speaker. All right, you can, you can resume your you can resume your seats. That's the procedure. Once I've been recognized by the speaker, but your honourable <laughs> guest, I'm kindly resume. I respected on your comments. You were making very very important point, and we're all following it. But you 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 were you started bringing some words that, quite frankly, were mad, stupid. Those are not parliamentary. Secondly, the man, Mr. Melody, is not here. So please, I'm just advising that. I mean, just be on the counter, and then you can take those words out, redraw those words, and then we can move forward. Please. Mr. Speaker, he says the man is not here. I'm happy if we could get him an immediate flight back to Ghana so he can come and listen to how we feel, how we feel about him. How might we feel about him? What was your complaint? He, he used the word mad, stupid, and I'm saying that those were not parliamentary words. No, I'm not sure he is to be said a statement he made. A statement. The fact that he came here to qualify us for You uh, can use another word. World Cup and not the You can the use another word. Yeah, and those words follow. So, I don't remember the words I used. Kofi Transit, you're making progress, so you are wasting my time. He deserves worse than this. Well, I'm okay, dear it's not Speaker. about him, it's about us. Forgive me, Mr. Speaker. He, he said he deserves worse than this. Unfortunately, it's about us. The statement you're making is also about us. So uh, I was not paying attention. About us? Yes. But the, it's about the Parliament of Ghana speaking. So I was not paying attention to the. Well, in that case, Mr. Speaker, he's, I'm happy you didn't hear what I said. He's misinterpreted everything. How did he say this? Mr. Speaker, he's got it all wrong. So I'm happy we can make some progress. How did he now, say this? Uh, if you use those words kindly, Refit, but I direct that in his actual we are sponge from the rock. Well, yes, the fact that he's gone local and all those things, you know, but he's racist too, Mr. Speaker. Yes, I think he said racist, yeah, if okay. that is true. All right, the rest will be a sponge uh, at your behest, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Mr. Speaker, so here we are, Ghana blasters. I mean, we hear about sex, segmentation. We hear about infighting. Mr. Speaker, they are only 22 or 23. They represent a population of over 30 million. Football is our staple. I mean, quite a few colleagues I don't get on with on this side. I mean, Kofi Bua, those I don't. But notwithstanding that, we can sit in the same coffee room and watch football, laugh. I and mean, when we get out of there, we can uh, resume our hostilities. It is the only thing, Mr. Speaker, that brings us together as a nation. And yet, the class that consistently, Mr. Speaker, lets us down. AFCON, uh, how do you call it? 20, uh, 2007, 2008? Remember that one. Mr. Speaker, as a modern, reported me to President Kufour that had made statements to the effect that they were messing with our hearts. So Mr. Kufour, the president, should do whatever was in his power, I think to punish me or something. I wasn't there, but Mr. Speaker, you know even was have years. Those who were there came and told me, my friend, you were in trouble. What about that? I said, we can't have supported you to the president. President Kufour, what about that? Well, the president, he's got so much national matters on his mind. I'm sure this one, it would escape you. So I waited for a call, and the call didn't come. I've never been happy with us and Morgan until today. And come to think about it, look at what he did to us, the penalty. <laughs> he 
You see, it is a very serious matter. When it comes to blasters, it comes to all of us. But let me let you into a little secret. I'm so sure if I hadn't left this country for some time when I was young and I'd followed football the way I used to do with all my heart, maybe I'll be a dead goat by now. You come to listen.